The cartilaginous skeleton, five to seven gill slits on the sides of the skull, and unfused pectoral fins are distinguishing characteristics of sharks as an elasmobranch fish species. Sharks are found worldwide. The group known as the Selachimorpha, which is comprised of modern sharks, is the sister group to the Batoidea. Welcome everyone! In today's video, we're going to look at top 10 crazy facts about sharks. If you're a fan of Shark Week, you might be searching for any and all shark-related content. Fortunately, we can assist you. 10 shark facts that we've compiled will pique your interest in these species. But before we proceed further details, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Now get ready and make sure to stay tuned till the end as we dive right into the video. Top 10 Crazy Facts About Sharks 1. Sharks do not have bones. Sharks filter the oxygen in the water using their gills. They belong to a specific class of fish called elasmobranchs, which is a scientific term for creatures made of cartilaginous tissues, the same kind of clear grisly material that makes up your ears and nose tip. Raised sawfish and skates are also included in this category. They are buoyant because of their enormous livers, which are filled with low-density oils, and their cartilaginous skeletons, which are significantly lighter than genuine bone. Sharks have no bones, but they can nevertheless get fossilized. Most sharks add calcium salts to their skeletal cartilage as they become older to make it stronger. Shark teeth that have dried out have a solid, weighty appearance and feel similar to bone. The majority of shark skeletal systems may fossilize fairly well thanks to these similar minerals. Since the teeth have enamel, they are also visible in the fossil record. 2. Most sharks have good eyesight. The majority of sharks have excellent night vision, good color vision, and can see well in dimly lit environments. A reflective layer of tissue, known as a tapetum, is located on the rear of each of a shark's eyeballs. Because of this, sharks are able to see extraordinarily well, even in dim light. 3. Sharks have special electroreceptor organs. The snout, eyes, and mouth of a shark are adorned with a series of tiny black spots. These bumps are called ampulla of Lorenzini, and they are specialized electroreceptor organs that enable the shark to detect electromagnetic fields and fluctuations in temperature in the water. 4. Shark skin feels similar to sandpaper. Placoid scales, sometimes referred to as dermal denticles, are the structures responsible for the sandpaper-like texture of shark skin. Placoid scales are composed of very small teeth-like structures. When the shark swims, these scales, which point towards the tail, help reduce the amount of friction caused by the surrounding water. 5. Sharks can go into a trance. When flipped over, sharks enter a trance-like state known as tonic immobility, which allows them to remain motionless. When our researchers are working on sawfish in the water, this is the reason that you will frequently see them flipping over on their backs. To induce tonic immobility in a juveline sawfish and allow for the attachment of a satellite tag, researchers place the fish on its back. 6. Sharks have been around a very long time. Scientists have a hypothesis that sharks initially formed in the water approximately 455 million years ago. This hypothesis is based on fossil scales that have been discovered in Australia and the United States. 7. Scientists age sharks by counting the rings on their vertebrae. The vertebrae each have concentric pairs of bands that are either opaque or translucent. Scientists compare the number of band pairs to the number of rings on a tree, and then use this comparison to determine the age of the shark. As a result, the age of the vertebrae is estimated to be 10 years old if it has 10 band pairs. Recent research, however, has demonstrated that one cannot always rely on this assumption to be true, because the pace at which the band pairs are deposited may shift over the course of time. Researchers need to investigate each species and size class to establish how frequently the band pairs are deposited. The process of calculating the true rate at which the bands are deposited is referred to as validation. 8. Blue sharks are really blue. The underside of the body of a blue shark is typically white, but the top of its body has a striking blue coloration. The mako and poor beagle sharks each have a blue color. However, the mako sharks and poor beagle sharks' blues are not quite as vivid as the blue sharks. 
The majority of sharks in the wild have brown, olive, or grayish coloring. 9. Each whale shark's spot pattern is unique as a fingerprint. The whale shark is the largest fish that can be found in the ocean. According to some estimations, they can reach a height of 12.2 meters and a weight of up to 40 tons. The basking shark is the second largest fish in the world after the whale shark, reaching lengths of up to 32 feet and weighing more than 5 tons. 10. Certain types of sharks have a structure called a spiracle, which enables them to draw water into their respiratory system even when they are not moving. In order to keep water moving over their gills, the majority of sharks must constantly swim. The spiracle of a shark is found right behind the eyes, and it is responsible for delivering oxygen straight to the brain and eyes of the shark. When they are at rest on the seafloor, bottom-dwelling sharks like angel sharks and nurse sharks take advantage of this additional respiratory apparatus in order to continue breathing. When the shark's mouth is being used for food, this cavity is utilized for respiration as well. White sharks have teeth that are triangular and serrated, but mako sharks have teeth that are quite pointed. Each predator leaves a distinguishing mark on the bodies of the animals they kill. Over the course of its lifetime, a sandbar shark will amass something in the neighborhood of 35,000 teeth. The ways in which sharks reproduce might be very different from one species to the next. There are species that reproduce asexually by laying eggs and species that reproduce sexually by carrying their young. Oviparous species are those that reproduce by laying eggs, which then develop and hatch outside of the mother's body without any assistance from the mother once the eggs have been set. The currently playing video has reached its conclusion. I admire your doggedness in following things through to their natural conclusion. If you find the following information about sharks to be fascinating, I would appreciate it if you could let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.